Hi everybody, Ko here with an early thoughts video on a game I've been playing recently called Pal World. Uh, normally I wait until I finish a game to make a thoughts video, but in cases like this, when it's kind of a relatively unknown game and I'm getting asked all the time what I think about it, uh, sometimes it's a good idea to go ahead and just make a little video like this to get my early thoughts out. Why I'm playing it, what this game is, that kind of thing. So, Pal World is Pokemon plus guns plus Valheim slash Ark. When I first was told about Pal World, I was told that it was basically Pokemon with guns. And I'm not the biggest Pokemon fan. So I heard that and I kind of went, oh, okay, you know, it sounds kind of gimmicky, sounds kind of fun. Not really super into that, but whatever. It came out, I noticed a lot of my streaming buddies playing it, a lot of members of the community playing it. And they're like, Ko, you gotta try this game. And I said, nah, you know, it's just, it's just Pokemon with guns. And I'll never forget when I saw someone in chat be like, no, Ko, it's Pokemon plus guns plus Valheim. And I immediately went, Nanny. what, what do you mean? And that's why I decided to check it out. So I gave it a solid four-ish hours yesterday. I'm diving back in today and I'm probably going to be diving into the foreseeable future. And let me tell you why. Every so often a game comes along that combines multiple aspects of other games but most importantly, it does it really well. And I feel like that's what Pal World is. Pal World is a strange, weird amalgamation of a lot of different games I've played, but it all seemingly works. Um, all of the kind of like, uh, they, they call them, I'm not gonna call them Pokemons. All the pals uh, have like unique randomized stats they can get abilities they can learn. They all have a crafting thing that helps in your base. Your base has all sorts of stuff it can build. There's lots of kind of like automation you can do. You can assign your pals to work different things. There are different skills they get better at. There's levels. Combat feels pretty good. The world is big and vibrant. Like, the more I talk about it, the more it's just kind of like I keep mentioning and thinking of features that just really work in this type of game. And so far... I'm having a great time. Like I'm, I'm actually really surprised how great of a time I'm having in this game. Uh, if you are a, if you are a fan of survival games, I definitely recommend checking it out. It, it is a survival game at its heart. This is a survival game, and then on top of that, it's kind of additional gimmickry. Is the whole pal pet system? Uh, it is the whole like weapon system. You can use your pals as weapons later. There's a full construction of creative building system. Uh, fast travel system like it just keeps kind of growing out more and more keep in mind I've only played it for five hours and I genuinely feel like I've only scratched the surface there's dungeons in this game there's boss fights there's co-op uh, up to 32 player servers and four player teams it just keeps getting bigger and bigger so anyway to sum it up how world is cool I'm really enjoying my time exploring it uh, it will be available on game pass from what I understand so if you are wanting to try it there you can and uh yeah I can't wait to keep exploring it uh, I hope you watch our playthrough and, and get some ideas for your own playthrough. And uh, yeah, it's pretty great. So anyway, that's my early thoughts on it. Uh, if we do continue this and take this playthrough all the way to the end, we'll do an additional, more girthy thoughts video. But for now, that's about it. So I'll see you at twitch.tv slash Thanks as always for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.